June 25th, 2018. This video is called Tepco Fukushima Cover-Up 2.0? Question mark. Now, I'm not accusing Tepco of anything. This is just a theory, but I'm wondering that this is now the aftermath. They're just kind of like throwing out this radioactive water like it's just uh, bath water. I mean, they just don't think it's no big deal. But I think something happened recently. I've been checking on the live cam not too often, but once in a while. And this caught my eye a couple days ago. But for some reason, a couple weeks ago on the 10th, I took a picture of the shot. And once in a while, I'm, I guess over the years, we could see the progress that is taking place over there. So I took one the other day and it was on June 10th and the other just yesterday I noticed the live cam it had this smudge on it. I didn't think anything of it and that's what I'm putting two and two together here now and sometimes it rains and there's a smudge and uh, maybe something hit the lens, an insect, a bird, who knows. But I noticed it was here again today and I started investigating a little bit deeper and I found a couple inconsistencies and I wonder what you think this is because remember, let's start from day one here. Uh, the reason why I don't trust them is because they're the masters of manipulation. Now, uh, I didn't trust them the first time and that's why I don't trust them now this time. Cover up 2.0 question mark. This was the first time. Now, this picture is no longer available on the TEPCO website, but thankfully I saved it. And if you look at, I think this is Reactor 2. I could be wrong. Look what they did. Now, why would you Photoshop this on a picture? That means they're hiding something. So that is the technical definition, I guess, of a cover-up. So just remember that they did it once they could be doing it again now this is what i found here i'll show you i'm going backwards here i'm going on the live camera i'll show you but this is the picture that i took on the 10th june 10th and then this one was just taken just now june 25th and the only reason why i noticed this is because i kind of zoomed in a bit i think something happened uh, and this is my theory right here. And here's the proof right here. Now, these are screenshots. Now, if you look on the June 10th one, look at this line right here. It's it's um, like a straight line. See this right in here? This area right here happens to be fuzzed out. And I don't know. Of course, they're Japanese. You know, Sony and all that. They probably know how to do this stuff. But... I'm wondering if this area is not a bird or an insect or, and, and this purposely been put here because something happened. Now, if you follow this line, it's straight, right? And this is before they had the smudge mark. But if you look at the line here, it's jagged now. See, it's jagged. And it just so happens that there is something that is been put here so we can't see in this area here but doesn't it look like this is this straight line is no longer here was there an explosion and it knocked this thing out i mean if they were smart enough you would think they would have shut this channel down and but then maybe someone might ask some questions so they kind of fuzz this fog this out and they people might think nothing of it because they kind of think maybe nobody's watching the tepco live camera so this is very bizarre right over here because it looks like everything's the same here except when you come to this area right over here that's been fogged out. What do you think? It looks like this was right here. It was straight. Maybe let's put them on top of each other here closer. There we go. We'll move this over. Now here's what it used to be, and here is where it is now. 
So this is my theory. Something happened here. This is with a question mark. Fukushima TEPCO cover up 2.0. We'll see. I could be wrong, but I'm just throwing this out here to see what everybody thinks. And is it possible that uh, something happened here that they don't want us to know? And I guess we'll use this as proof in the couple weeks to come to see if this smudge mark, maybe someone will put some uh, Windex up there and they like, wipe it off. And this is just a smudge mark and it's nothing. But I think there's something going on here with this part missing. See, there's a shadow here. It looked black. Could it be burnt? I have no idea. This, if you look, um, we'll follow this up. It looks like it comes right up to here or is where the part's missing here. It looks like it's something here. Because if you could see, this line here comes down. And this line right here. So just a little edge of this is missing. But there's definitely, this is, the, the fuzz, because it's on the fogged out area, makes me think that uh, TEPCO is up to something. And here is the live camera. And here it is right here, the live camera. And at first, sometimes, you know, it, it rains and it leaves these marks on it. And I wouldn't have thought anything of it until I zoomed into this area. And it looks like there it is right there. That piece is missing. So it looks like it's a wrecked mess over here anyways. What the hell was going on over here? So they probably don't want anybody to know how bad it is. At, uh, because the, the Olympics are coming around the corner. And obviously it's bad because you never see anybody walking around at this site. So there it is. TEPCO Fukushima cover-up 2.0. Question mark.